Sweeney, and I'm a classical pianist and a piano teacher. I wanted to talk about the Suzuki method today. I adore the Suzuki method, and I started with it as a very young child, and I have been trained and teaching the Suzuki method for a few years now, and I have, I have been teaching piano lessons for 20 years, you guys, 20 years. When I found the Suzuki method and I went to the teacher training and learned how it all works and the philosophy and the approach and the way parents are involved, I was beyond excited because I could see all the possibilities. I could see like, wow, that is really going to work in the lesson. It's going to help the children to progress so quickly and it's so exciting. So let me tell you about it. As a classical pianist, when I was in music school at the Jacobs School of Music, let me tell you how my lessons went. I learned my music and I memorized it. And then I brought it to my teacher and she taught me how to play the piano. She taught me how to listen to the notes. She taught me the proper technique with wrists and arms and how to really pull music out of the notes that I had studied. Um, but generally, once you're studying at a conservatory level and you're having piano lessons with a piano teacher that is that amazing, like a world-class performer, they expect you to know how to learn music. They expect you to know how to learn the rhythms, learn the notes, play everything correctly, and have it memorized. Like, that's kind of the baseline. That's where you start in your lessons, and that's where the work begins. Once you can play the notes and you know the music, then you learn how to become a musician. Then you learn how to become a pianist. And that's something I arrived at when I was in my late teens and early 20s as a musician in the music school. But with Suzuki piano lessons, that starts from day one. That starts when you're two or three or four years old, learning how to figure out the notes and the rhythms and how to play the song on your own and then bringing it to your teacher saying, look, I can play this song. Your teacher says, hooray, let me show you some ways to make it sound even better, even more musical. And, and, and so it's, it's really exhilarating and exciting to me to see conservatory, conservatory level teaching down at a preschooler's level of understanding. But it's the same sort of approach and it allows me as a teacher to teach the student how to play the instrument, how to use your hands and your arms and your fingers in just the right way, how to use your wrists and the motion and the gravity and the arm weight and all of that sort of technical stuff. It allows me to teach how to play the piano in the lessons. I'm not teaching the notes. I'm teaching how to play the piano. And the child and the parent at home are practicing to learn the notes themselves. It makes for incredible musicianship. It allows children to really focus and hone in on their listening skills and their ability to make melodic phrases, their ability to articulate in a particular way to make the, um, the voicing balanced with the melody louder than the accompaniment. And all of these things are things we're teaching in book one with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I mean, we are teaching the balance between having um, your downbeat louder than your offbeat and things like that. That like, these, are, these are really high level musicianship skills, but they're totally accessible to kids if you have this, lev this, this way of learning where you already know the music and you're working on learning how to play the piano through the music. Um, Suzuki method is unlike any other method because it takes a different approach to the music acquisition. So it is based on the idea that every child, no matter where they are born in the world, they understand and learn to speak their own language. Whatever their mother speaks to them, they learn it. Japanese is very complex. So is Mandarin Chinese, so is English. Like our languages are so complicated, but children as babies can understand how to do it naturally with perfect inflection and tone and great grammar. I mean, they pick that up when they are just infants and young children. We believe that mothers can help to teach their children music in the same way. And so it's taught with the Suzuki method 
by listening every single day to the entire book. You listen to 19 songs every day um, and you learn all of them and review them in sort of a non-sequential way. So, um, so I would work with a student on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for months in lessons rather than just saying, okay, we're gonna do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star this week. Okay, you're done. Let's move on and do the next song. Let's do Go Talent Roadie this week. Okay, we're done. Let's go to the next song. There's so much more depth to the learning when you are studying 19 songs for an entire year and using the music that they can play confidently and that they know really securely to add layers each time. So you start with just an etude based on the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song. Um, and then you add um, different fingers that you're going to be playing those notes with. And then you add doing it with the left hand. And then you add, let's put it with hands playing together. And then you add, uh, let's try it with an accompaniment. And so, I mean, that whole process, learning your twinkles, takes like six months. But it's not like you're only doing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for six months. You're building on all of these pieces in that sort of way where it's like there's so much to get out of this piece. We learn Go Tell Aunt Rhody simply first and then we learn a left hand pattern and then we learn how to put hands together. We have children playing Alberti bass two octaves apart. We have them stretching beyond the five finger pattern in the very first song. There are things that a lot of methods make kids get kind of stuck and rigid in their playing, we break free of that with Suzuki Method. And, and we get them to, to love the piano and to love listening and to love making it even better and perfecting and polishing. You're always polishing. Like each of these pieces, we're always polishing, we're always reviewing, we're always making them better and better and better and higher. And then you can start transposing some of the songs and just learning as much as we can with all of these pieces. Um, so Suzuki piano method is not necessarily a quick method. Sometimes kids with a really great Suzuki teacher, they will be in book one for two years. That may feel like a really long time, but when you look at the foundation that they've laid, the amount of technique that they've learned, the abilities that they have with these 19 songs in book one, they have laid the foundation where they are, they are preparing to be able to play concertos, they're preparing to be able to memorize music um, at extensive you know, lengths. And um, it, it's just, it's fantastic. Like you have, these kids are, they're, they can do anything. Like the way, the way that Suzuki prepares you for um, the future, it's incredible. So um, Dr. Suzuki, Shinichi Suzuki, he actually started the piano, or started the, the method with a violin. And the very, very first songs in the violin method are actually etudes on the Bach double concerto. And so he has this really, 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 really long vision of like, okay, little cute little kid who is very excited about learning an instrument, we're gonna teach you the Bach double today with this simple little exercise that tr teaches them the bow stroke, the rhythm, and the proper arm movement and stuff for, um, for playing something that is um, one of the most incredible pieces of music. Um, anyway, so it's, it's based on this idea that from the very first lesson, we're preparing you to be a concert pianist, you know, a, a concert violinist, and to be a very musical child. And we believe that you are capable of that, no matter what your background, no matter your talent. I don't believe in talent. I believe in practice. I think anyone can be taught to play an instrument. Anyone can be taught to be an amazing musician, but you have to put the time in, you have to put the effort in, and you have to learn how to learn. And once you learn how to learn, you can learn anything. It's really about being willing to dedicate yourself to long, hard hours of practice and extended, like this long-term vision of, you know, this is not just a process that takes a few months. It's not a process that takes even a few years. This is something that's like long, process. And if you believe in that vision, you can get all the way to the concert stage through the Suzuki method because it starts you out very confident as a performer. It starts you out with your notes memorized and your focus on your fingerings and your focus on your 
technique and your movement and your musicality. Um, so I can't say enough good about the Suzuki Piano Method. Um, by the end of book one, um, you are ready, like it starts with folk songs, but by the end you're playing songs that are um, kind of preparation for uh, classical music. And in, in the very beginning of volume two, you start playing songs um, by Schumann, by Bach, and um, it's not very long before you're ready to play like Haydn and Mozart and start into sonatas and inventions and things like that. So um, it's definitely a classical music curriculum and it, it gives you that really great foundation in, in, in technique. Um, so having said all of that, I loved my Suzuki teacher training and I loved my experience teaching really gifted students Suzuki piano lessons. And I want to share that. So my new project as a YouTube creator is to start teaching what Suzuki Piano is all about. I'd like to start introducing the technique and the practice skills that are involved with each song because every song has one specific piano technique, one physical thing that you focus on that makes you a better musician. And I would like to share that with anyone who's interested. And um, I would love this to be interactive. I would love for you to make comments and requests and tell me about your progress and kind of be your virtual piano teacher in whatever way I can. So it's really exciting to me. Um, thus far, my YouTube channel has been a hobby for me, but I feel like this is like a step in a professional direction. Like I can take the things that I've done with my career professionally as a piano teacher and share them with anyone who'd like to know how to play the piano. So that is my um, big long spiel on the Suzuki method. I hope that's inspiring to you. If you are interested in seeing it in action and learning a little bit about, about, more about how it works and how you can practice each of these pieces, um, I encourage you to uh, start following my channel because I will continue to make these videos whenever I have um, a few minutes to share and I will I will teach you how to play uh, the Suzuki way so stay tuned for more go ahead and subscribe and share what your journey is with me as we interact through through these videos bye